in 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9. But you are a chosen generation, a, a holy, his own, that you may proclaim who called you out of into his you are a a, a royal priesthood. This is very important and the Lord has uh, been driving me to preach this that the kingdom of God is a kingdom of priests. He is coming to a royal, for a royal priesthood and Jesus established that. We read in Genesis that when Abraham came after defeating many other kings and when he came he met a person for the first time mentioned in the Bible, Melchizedek king of Salem, priest of the most high God. For the first time we see a deviation from the Levitical priesthood. We see priesthood and kingship amalgamated together. And when he came, what did he give Abraham? He gave Abraham bread and wine. What did Jesus do at the last supper? He gave bread and wine. Jesus was proclaiming then and there that I have established the Melchizedek priesthood, a royal priesthood. Everything we do, everything we say, everything we bring before him, every, every petition we bring before him, every gift we bring before him, it will have only value if we bring it before him in the office of a priest. It's only the priest that ministered before God, right? And God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he does not change. He's establishing a royal priesthood. And the royal priesthood is going to bring the capstone, the last finishing of the kingdom of God. God is going to use young people and he's going to put the fire of God into them. And they are going to go and speak not their words, but God's word. Even as they speak, things will happen. Miracles will happen. There will be things that will get created because they speak according to God's mind, God's will, and God's heart. They will speak not about them, but about God. And there will be a mighty end time move through the young people. In Ephesians chapter 4, verses 11, 11 to 13 says, and he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints, for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come to the unity of the faith and, and of the knowledge of the Son of God to a perfect man, the, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. He will use past Pastors, teachers, elders to build up these young people who are going to bring the capstone of the kingdom of God before he comes. Zero Bible will finish the building. It's going to be a priesthood that will finish the work of the kingdom of God and it's going to come with power and with mighty anointing. Nothing will be able to stand against them. Oh, you great mouth, who are you before Zero Bible? It will become a plane. God will anoint this final group of people young people and nothing will be able to stand before them. They will speak to the mountains and the mountain will flatten them. They will speak and the words will create things because they will speak according to God's will. The priest will bring offerings, intercessions, gift before God. The king will hear what God is doing and what God is saying. Jesus said, I do the works of my father. I hear what my father does. I see what my father does. And they will hear and they will see what God the Father is doing and they will establish that here on earth. Let your will be on earth as it is in, in heaven. They will come and establish that. Jesus is training the capstone generation now and it's up to those of us to encourage them, to build them up and to prepare them. And he says, not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, the spirit of God will lead them and guide them to do what God wants you to do. 